Hi, and welcome to the SoCal Yearbook Gal Education Series designed to inspire, encourage, support, and make your life easier. So tell me, why do you want to be on the yearbook staff? This week, we are going to be talking about staff recruiting, and we're going to talk about where you can find the best kids for your class, the ones who really want to do it, the ones who have this natural talent and skill and ability, those really amazing journalists and those students who are super artistic. So last week we were talking about the what to do when plan for March and a couple places in there under people and connections as well as under staff development. It was talking about starting your next year staff recruiting and where you can find students. So a couple of things. Number one, we're going to need to let people know what your program is all about. So we've been talking about this quite a bit where you're going to kind of hype up your program, let people know that it's a really cool place to be. And that could be just um, advertising, you could do posters, there's a ton of things that you can do. And, and it'll also at the same time increase your buy rates for your yearbook. But you want students to know about your program and you want people to get excited about it. Once you have that, you have the students wanting to be in the class, then you're going to want to kind of sort through the students who want to be in your yearbook class because you don't have a lot of room. Most people don't have a lot of room for your class. So what you'll want to do is do a couple of different things. You can look for, um, look toward your class, your yearbook class, and ask your students for any recommendations. Once you have that done, you'll also want to go to the other teachers, especially if you have a journalistic book, ask your English teachers, who are your best writers? Who are your most creative writers? And then uh, potentially for your designers, you might wanna look into the art program. For your photography students, take a look at those, the, the graphic arts classes, your photography classes, look, to those teachers, the people who are in charge of those other classes, look to those teachers and ask them for recommendations. That is the best part. That is the best place to start looking for your future yearbook staffers. And another great place to look that I've found is students who are in ASB and student council because they know what's going on. And oh my goodness, every time that I find a yearbook staff that has a bunch of students from ASB in it, I'm just so excited because they know if we're doing dances, if we're doing parties or any sort of spirit days, that kind of stuff, they just, they're in the know. So if you can find those students, that would be great. Once you're there, I wanna show you something in the Balfour Exchange. Again, all you're going to do is type in Balfour Exchange. You can click on this very first link and it'll take you to the site right here. And if you scroll down, there's a spot called Digital Resources. You're gonna go over here to Home and go all the way down here to Staff Management. And once you're in there, oh my goodness, you have so many resources. Take advantage of this. Under staff organization, there's staff manuals, student media policies, style guides, all this kind of stuff. But if you scroll down just a little bit farther, we have what's your role on the yearbook staff. This is really cool. Staff applications are valuable recruiting tools. This we're gonna look at for just a second, but then this is the area that I want to show you. It's staff organization and applications, but we're gonna go ahead and um, actually, let me show you this first. What's your role in the yearbook staff? So right here, we have different ways to organize your yearbook. I know that I used to do it a little bit differently from a lot of my yearbook advisors. And I don't think that there's any one right way of organizing your staff, but you just kind of have to get a feel for what works for you, which is great to have, um, why it's great to have this resource so that you can see like what other people are doing. But as far as sectional organization goes, you can see that you have the advisor, editor in chief, photo editor, photographers, business manager, sales staff. And then it goes down here to your student life editor, people editor, academics editor, organizations editor, sports editor, index editor, and then your staff underneath all of those. So then you have functional organization, which is organized just a little bit differently right there. So this is how, a, you know, a couple of different options for organizing your staff. If we go back a little bit to staff management, staff applications are valuable recruiting tools. We have a staff application. I'll show you where you can find that. This one's low res just to kind of show you what it is. But the most important thing is that we take this seriously and we 
have it kind of look like a job. And so, and it really is, if you think about it, and it's, I think, important to tell your students too, is that this is the one class where people purchase your homework. And, and I love that idea. That concept is so cool because, because these kids are creating this beautiful spread. They're writing this beautiful stuff and all these people are reading it. It's not like, oh, I'm just going to submit this, this five paragraph essay to my English teacher. It's full on like people will buy your work. They are going to buy this beautiful creation. And so it's important for the students to know that and then treat this as like a job because it really will be. They're going to have deadlines. They're going to have expectations. So you can scroll down here. There's a couple of applications, a couple of options here for you and why you'd want to use some of these things. Um, any important dates, special requirements, those kind of things, you can find all of that information on here. And then if we go back out over here, this is the area that I wanted to show you where you can get your actual recruitment guide. So there's a 24 page recruitment guide to help you with your staff needs. Here's the staff organization area and then applications and evaluation forms are right here. So we'll just click on that one right there, kind of walk you through. And then you can see that we just have a bunch of PDFs and Word documents that you can modify and uh, make those make those yours. Here's a, a great uh, folder once you get in there. It has the recruiting video, recruitment guide, 10 reasons to join yearbook. This is just a cute little video right here. So anyway, recruiting is something that you're definitely going to want to focus on. I know right now we're, we're looking at final deadlines and that's really important, but as soon as those pages are done and as soon as you have students finishing up their pages, have them start looking into recruiting. Say, hey, you know, what, what are you looking for in a yearbook staff member and, and set up an application. We have a whole bunch of resources for you here. Take advantage of it, take what you like, dismiss what you don't like and create your own. Good luck getting that beautiful, perfect staff that you've always dreamed of. Let me know if you have any questions.